What's the Shaka's gang? This is Jalil Shaka's your advice guru, giving you relationship advice, general advice, and spreading love and positivity. I post YouTube videos Monday through Thursday, so be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, comment in the section below, and hit that notification bell so that you receive my uploads. In today's video, I'm going to talk about before you become an adult. Because when you're a kid or when you're a teenager, everybody puts all this pressure on you like, Oh, you're a big boy now. So then you go from being a little kid to wanting to be a big boy. Then once you become a big boy, it's like, oh, you got to be a teenager. Then once you become a teenager, it's like you got to become an adult. But these are some of the things that I learned as an adult that I wish I would have known as a kid so that I could better my future. So the first thing is that you realize that a lot of the adults are little kids. They're grown kids. And the way they still act immature, they still throw tantrums, they still try to fight. And it's like, the difference between then and now is the fact that when you were younger, when you fight, it's solely the parent's responsibility. And at the same time, you don't really get as reprimanded. When you become an adult, you can go to jail, you could get a sentence, you could get bail. There's, there's so many things that could happen after that. Then when you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to get out on my own, I'm going to get my job. You end up getting more bills as an adult than you do a kid. While the idea of getting your own and being able to pay for your bills is cool, finding a job is hard, and then finding a job that will actually be sustainable for you to live on your own, especially in this economy, is really hard. And it's not easy. Like, you could be paying for a car, you could be trying to pay your rent. Your rent alone will take your whole paycheck if you get a minimum wage job. So then, when you become an adult, more than likely you're going to want to stay with the parents for a little bit, of, go to school, be respectful and responsible, or at least try to be. Because, of course, you're trying to get out on your own, you're trying to get your education so that you can get your degree and move the hell on. The third thing I wish I would have known are finances and how to manage money. People will tell you to save 10%, 20%, and then do whatever with your check and put some of the bills. But unless somebody sits down with you and talks to you about finances or you pick up a book and read, which most people don't do nowadays, you're, you're, you're definitely going to want to do that. Because you'll find yourself making money at your job. You're like, cool, I got this money. I could party. I could do what I want. And then at the end of every pay period, you have nothing to save. You end up spending it. And then in the long run, if an emergency happened with your car or something happened with you personally and like medically, maybe you, like you broke something and you got to pay for it. It's going to cost an arm and a leg. And even though you have insurance, a lot of times they don't pay the whole thing. They end up paying a deductible or you have to pay a deductible, which means that you have to pay a percentage in order for them to fix whatever problem is going on. So you want to spend a good portion on bills and you want to save some for yourself. And then you also want to have at least a little bit that you could accumulate so that you could party, go on different adventures, take time off. That's what you want to do as an adult. You want to get your finances together. Also, you want to be mentally stable in the way of knowing where you want to go and not letting other people dictate how you are, who you are, and say the term, I know you better than you know yourself. Because then in reality, you're doubting yourself and you're not pushing yourself forward. And then you almost end up like me in a situation where I have an electrical engineering degree, but haven't really done anything with it because I've been confused between that, music, being an author, being a public speaker. And it's like I could have done all those things had I focused little by little and take little at a time instead of just jumping into one, seeing that it doesn't work, and then jumping into another one, seeing that it doesn't work. You want to be as consistent as you can be in whatever you do, and you want to sacrifice your time because... You can't get time back. That's another thing as an adult. See, a lot of people will party, 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 and then they'll reach their 30s or 40s, and then that's when you should be well-established. But because you were partying so much and not really paying attention to the things around you, you end up having nothing to show for it. You don't really have a place that you own. You, you need to get this established. So before you become an adult, look into these things. Look into the things that will manifest and make you greater and have a retirement just in case social security ends at some point and you want to be able to be well established when you become an adult figure out where you want to be 
and go for it. Don't let other people tell you, oh, you're not going to be able to do it. Just because they don't see it for themselves doesn't mean that it has to be you. So I'm done with my lunch. But let me know in the comment section what you think. And also, let me know some things I may have forgotten that you wish you would have known as a kid that you now know as an adult. And I have a whole plethora of things on relationships, so be sure to check that out. Jalil Shackles Doises.